the kitchen cabinet just yet. That'll be a little later, our wonderful Prepology Bacon Press. We are going to go into the cookbook corner, and I know a lot of you are excited every week on QVC on our In the Kitchen show when we bring you another great selection to add to your cookbook library. And today we're bringing you something from Gwen McKee and Barbara Mosley. They're the ladies that bring us the Best of the Best series on QVC, and today we're bringing you their brand new book. Up until the middle of November, you'll only be able to find it here on QVC. So right now, this is the only place to buy it. Inside all your favorite recipes for soups, salads, and sandwiches. 413 recipes, easy to follow, everything you're loving, and no repeated recipes from any of the previous Best of the Best books. You're getting all 413 recipes for only $17.16. There's even a collection of some beautiful color photos of some of the selected recipes so you'll see some great ideas for presentation. The lady that makes it all possible is Gwen McKee. She's joining us now. Welcome back, Dolly. Nice to see you. Welcome back to the Cookbook Corner. I'm so excited to be introducing this book because it's going to make your your life so much better. It is absolutely going to do that because this is that time of year when we're making more soups and salads and sandwiches and all the things that we love. But because you've got a sweet tooth, you also included some sweet recipes in here as well. There's just a few little lanyap. Well, you know what? Let's get busy and talk to everybody about what's inside. You put so much into this book, and there's so many different useful recipes. There are, so, there are all kind of soups, chowders, <coughs> chilies, gumbos, stews, and the, and the soups and the, the salads themselves. They are so incredible. And look, we have 61 salad dressings. We want to make everything taste better. We're all about taste. Look at this gorgeous crab Louis salad. This and this dressing is so wonderful. And you know what about dressing? You pay a lot of money to buy salad dressings. I'm here to tell you, you buy a gourmet dressing, two of them would be the price of this book. And think about the number of uh, dressings that you, would, uh, that you would make differently if you could control the ingredients. If you could decide to use a That's light right. sour cream yes. or a light mayonnaise. Yes, it costs All nothing. those kinds of things. It's exactly. very little effort to make dressing. So 61 different recipes for dressing. This is the Crab Louis salad, which is just incredible. Now let's talk about these sandwiches oh, right here. Uh, this is so wonderful. Jay, you, you've got to take a bite I'm of ready this. to go. Talk this to me about this. This is for these. you, honey. This is the Monte Cristo sandwich, and it's sort of fried. It's sort of browned. It's mm. sort of And I've got a little sample right up here. To make that cheese mm. and the meat all melt together, and it's so yummy. You will make these again and again and again, I promise you. Oh, Gwenny. It's, wow. it's all about ease. People want mm. soup and salad. And it's guess so what? Good. Give this to people who say they don't want to cook. You don't have to cook. Now what I need is you, a big old bowl of soup to dunk this in, which okay. is going to be great. We've How got the about thing. this wonderful, this is a roast, easy roasted red pepper soup. Ooh, wow. So incredible. Gorgeous. I can't tell you how delicious this is. And I'm excited, too, to tell you about this pulled pork right here. Now, this is something you call, this has got a funny name. What is it's the name of this? It's called Juicy Pig Hoagies. Juicy Pig Hoagies. Right, and this is the meat that goes in it. And then you're Southern, you know about this. The coleslaw goes in with it. You pop the coleslaw on top of the sandwich or on the side, however you want to make it. Yes. But right, right over, here, over here, we made these on the edge here, and this is done in a hoagie roll. Now, you don't have to serve them in hoagie rolls. You can do it on a soft kaiser if you That's like. That's right. But it's important to know that it's easy. The filling in the coleslaw is what makes this That's sandwich. The taste is so wonderful. M Melinda made up this recipe, and she's in our office. My husband, Bonnie, wants her to fix it all the time. It is so good. Now, I'm ready to go in for a bite all here. All right, I, I want you to take right a bite here. of this. because. Here we go. It's really, really this is the Juicy Pig Hoagies. <laughs> mm. And it is Juicy Pig. What mm. is better than Juicy Pig? Oh, man. Um, while you're and let me tell oh, you, if you've ever so done pulled pork sandwiches without coleslaw, you're missing out. Put yes. a dollop of coleslaw on the Try. sandwich. It's messy, but it's supposed to be, and it is so good. All right, now mm. I'm going to go right over back to some soups here. This is the chicken noodle veggie soup mix. Right. Make this mix up and bring it to somebody who's under the weather and not feeling so good, or, or give it as gifts. Uh, take it to the office. Six cups of boiling water, and you have a wonderful pot of soup. When we're approaching 2,000 books gone, right now, QVC is the only place you can buy this and will be the only place through the 15th of November. So if you want to be the first to get it, now's the time. Look at the beautiful color photos. I know many of you love color photos in cookbooks. Oh, look, and we have some of these here on the table. And we've got some of the crazy sandwiches. Ooh. We're going to tell you about and those. look at those. These are, these are black and blue sliders. I know. So many yummy recipes and so many gorgeous color photos. 413. 
18 soups, salads, and sandwiches. It's a must-have in your cookbook library. We're adding it to our library here at QVC. We hope you'll add it to yours. Let's say hello to Helen in Alabama, another good Southern lady. How are you, Helen? Hi, Helen. Lovely. How are you, dear? I'm doing fine, doing fine today. Can Excellent. you have some of my other books? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I just received the uh, last one, best of the best of the regional. Oh, yes, you know, right, uh, the Deep South. Yes. Right. <laughs> my grandson, 11 years old, loved the cookbook, too. Oh. I've heard more I people say that, bet. that their children can cook out of our books because right. they're so easy. They, yeah, they are. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I'm so tickled. What did that. you think about soups, salads, and sandwiches? 413 recipes. With wintertime coming on, the soups and the sandwiches sound great. And you know what? Isn't it nice to have some variety? You come home and it's cold and you want soup. You're craving soup, but you're like, I'm tired of the same soup I make all the time. Let me open right. Gwenny's book and find a brand new recipe. Right. And then you've got something fun to kind of pass the time in the cold weather months of the year. Right. Yes. Oh, that's marvelous. Well, we're, Helen. We're going to take you through the cold. Helen, you better believe it. You enjoy this book and be sure and tune in every Sunday because we'll bring you another great cookbook in Cookbook Corner, okay? Me and my 11 year old grandson want you every Sunday. I you tell him that. hello for me. I, I love him for doing that. I Thank will. you, Helen. Thank bye bye you. now. Okay, now, I'm going to here? show you we have six seasoning mixes in the book. This is a best Italian seasoning. We have best Greek seasoning, best Cajun seasoning. Best Bay seasoning, best salad supreme. That, that's to make it easier for you so you can cook in a hurry. Now, let's go over here to your to your sweet treat because oh, this, this is, is something I don't want us to run out of time on. Talk right. to me about this. Lanyap. I, I wanted to put a little taste of something sweet. These are my moose shots. Moose shots. <laughs> moose shots. So you can have just a little bite of something sweet. And I've put, I've put about 23 recipes. I couldn't stop. I'm sorry. But they're small, they're easy, they're not hard to do, but a little bite of something sweet wow. after you've had your soup and sandwich and salad. Mm. Is that you? And I love this idea of doing them in shot glasses. Yes, because you just want a little. It's just, just a little, little sweetness at the end of a wonderful meal. Okay, and one more thing. Here's Real our quickly. Two, two mug tortilla soup. I've been getting a lot of requests, and we're working on it, a cookbook for two. Yes, so I here like is that. So here's an idea of soup for two people. Right. And you can make it up ahead of time. It is very, very simple, and it's soup for two people, or it makes two mugs That's of soup. That's right, it makes two mugs, and you can add one cup of hot water to the one mug. Well, you know what? We're working on a Cooking for Two cookbook, and we've got other great things happening every week, and Miss Gwen, it is always a pleasure I to have you back. Here. We Thank love having you. you here. Now, over 4,000 books are gone, very popular, very busy on the phone lines. Please be patient with us. Every single Sunday in the Kitchen with David, you'll see another great book featured in a segment we like to call Cookbook Corner. This is f 8 330. Thank you, Gwenny. Nice to see you. Let me also remind you that every single Friday, I update my In the Kitchen with David blog. 